Hey, y'all. Recently, I interviewed my sister in Christ, Bethany Soros. She is a fellow laborer in the Orthodox Center for the Advancement for Biblical Studies, which is also closely related to the Ephesus School Network, of which my Tawahado Bible study is a part. And this is, you can say, the new Pauline School, the new Antiochian School, although I'm from the Ge'ez Rite. The Ge'ez Rite is influenced by both Antioch and by Alexandria. And in that vein, I wrote this paper in 2019 in January for Theophany. My church has a journal called Phenota Tawahado, which means the path of the Miaphysites. And uh, along those lines, I had this paper called Give Life by Reading Aloud or by Recitation. So I'm going to recite it to you. And it basically has a much shorter version of what Bethany Saros's book, A Light in the Darkness, is about, which is the role, responsibility, and duty of older people or competent people or excellent people to read scripture to those who are weaker. So this was with the Virgin Mary's Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahado Cathedral in Los Angeles. I'm Deacon Henokelias. Give life by reading aloud. The most important aspect of the liturgy, or the Kaddasi, is the public reading of the Holy Scriptures by the clergy. If the patriarch is present, he will read one of the four gospel accounts. If he is not, in his place, the bishop will. If he is not, in his place, the hieromonk will. If he is not, the married priest will. The lower-ranking priest will read the Acts of the Apostles. The higher-ranking deacon will read from the letters of Paul and will lead the congregation in the chanting of the Psalms of David. The lower-ranking deacon will read from the extra Pauline letters. Depending on where we are, we adjust the language in which these holy scriptures are read. But at Virgin Mary Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahado Cathedral in Los Angeles, or in Los Angeles, we have read from them in Ge'ez, Amharic, and English, and I didn't write it here, but in Spanish as well. The Apostle Paul instructed us and exhorted us to read the Holy Scriptures, not only in our private time alone, but aloud as a community. When he first told Bishop Timothy of Ephesus to do so, Timothy did this and established an orderly system that we still use two millennia later. That is beautiful, thank God. Trying to figure out the exact meaning of every word, jot, and tittle is a daunting task, but each parish should have at least one to three people dedicated and devoted to doing so. These people should do their best to learn the original languages, Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic, and cultures, the Syrian desert, shepherdism, first century Palestine, Alexander the Great, the Roman Empire, the Egyptian Empire, the Persian Empire, the Babylonian Empire, etc. In addition, they should study Ge'ez and Amharic for its importance to our communities historically and currently, and English for Ethiopians in North America, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Great Britain, etc. If they have time, they should learn additionally relevant languages and cultures unto the glory of God. Remember, there is a reason he came down and scattered us in Genesis chapter 11. Holy John Goldenmouth or Chrysostom, is famous for warning us that our homes are small churches. In Ge'ez, the translation for church, Beta Christian, is house of a Christian. Even though in the liturgy, the responsibility of publicly reading the Holy Scriptures lays at the feet of the clergy, in our homes, we are responsible. As our daily prayers say, May he make us unashamed at his second coming. If you are a grandparent, whether you understand all of the contents or not, you have a duty to read the Holy Scriptures to your children and grandchildren. Parents have a duty to their children, and when their eyesight gets poor, to their parents. Aunts, uncles, cousins, and siblings have a duty to their nephews, nieces, cousins, and siblings that are younger. If we can teach our kids about Ethiopian dance moves, what excuse do we have not to read aloud the Holy Scriptures to them? I didn't add it here, but obviously, you know, include the blind and include the mute and the dumb in any shape way that that's relevant as well. Let us hear and do this word of life from Timothy. Greek, 
heos ercomai proseco ho anagonesis ho paraclisis ho didescalia gez wata aqb eska emets baambwo wa bamihir wa bagasso wa basalyo amharak eskamat adres lamambebna lamamker lamastamarem tatanqeq english until i arrive give attention to the public reading of scripture to exhorting to teaching 1st timothy chapter 4 verse 13 new revised standard version <laughs>